Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today what I'm going to be doing is putting together a VETA style mining rig with some T-slot extruded aluminum uh, stock that I purchased off of eBay. So we're going to see if we can put together a mining rig uh, like a VETA style since they're three to five hundred dollars right now. Um, I'll go over the cost breakdown a little bit later in the video. And as you can see, I've already started to assemble some of the pieces together. Now, when I purchased this, I didn't really know what I was looking for or what it was called. So when I came across this specific style, uh, it was called an 80 20 10 10 uh, T slot extruded aluminum. So I, I don't know where the 80 20 comes from. Uh, from what I have researched since then, there is 10 10, there is 20 20, and there's 30 30, and there's 40 40. And basically, that is uh, 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters, 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters, 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters, 40 mil millimeters by 40 millimeters. Uh, this is 25 millimeters by 25 millimeters or one inch by one inch. So to find the specific hardware for this one has not been that easy. And I have uh, I've opted to try to go the route of tapping and drilling and trying to do it all nice and fancy. But realistically, not everybody's going to have a drill press. Not everybody's going to have drill bits. So instead, what I went ahead and did was uh, go out and get some self-tapping screws. And we're going to try to finish this with just some self-tapping screws and see how it comes out. All right, let's get started. So these two pieces here, these are my base ends. So what I need to do now is put together a spar that the GPUs will sit on, will go across here. So I'm gonna measure this on my VETA mining rig. It comes up about eight inches from the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna mark eight inches here. And eight inches on this side. Now the center of these have a hole already, and these self-tapping screws should should thread into there really nice. Okay. So now that I'm through, I'm gonna go ahead and run it all the way in. That actually worked out pretty good. Now on these ones I've pre-drilled where I want the crossbar to come across here. And that's roughly about four inches from the end. Now you don't have to do this uh, with using these tough uh, self-tapping screws. All you have to do is just measure where you want the crossbar to go across and then run your self-tapping screw. But obviously be symmetrical on both sides. All right, so I'm just going to line it up with the center of this. And then brace it. Again, I've already pre pre drilled these holes, so this is just this is just basically just drilling this in place.
another cross brace here because I need something to put motherboard on as well as the power supply. Okay, 24 and 7 eighths inch long is what it is. Let's go outside and cut another one. Okay, now I understand not everybody's going to have a metal cutoff saw, uh, but a hacksaw will work in this case just as easily. Doing the cross brace this way, you got to remember that the screw going in this way is also, you know, going to be in the way. So the screw that I used here only ends about right here. I should be safe running this self-tapping screw in about right here. There you have it. <clears throat> this is the majority of the frame. Now I'll probably end up putting a couple of pieces along here just to support the motherboard a little bit more. I have some, uh, some strap pieces that I can use for that. All right, next thing. Let's get this measured up. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use it this way. And I need it to come in Inch. Okay. okay, so this is excess. I'm going to cut all this off, and then I'm just going to cut this piece off between these two lines and this piece off from this line forward but just this piece, not this piece. All right, the next step here is to measure a GPU with a riser to get the height of this crossbar here. All be a good idea to have a second pair of hands just to hold that in place for you. It's a little awkward doing it with uh, no help.
All right, this is the last screw, guys. Okay, there it is. The homemade Veta style T slot mining rig. Alright, now we just need some cards. Alright, there we go. Okay, now I did model this after the VETA mining rig, and the VETAs are stackable. So if you want to save material, you don't really have to use this extension here. Uh, that will save the material. I'm going to go over the material costs and breakdown here. Okay, so I got these Tech Self drilling screws, metal to metal. These are two inches. These are what I use to, to screw in uh, all of the pieces that connect the frame together. These are three-quarter inch metal to metal. These are the pointy screws, and this is what I use to screw in the uh, the GPU brace mount. So each one of these boxes is, I believe, about seven dollars at the local home improvement box store. Okay, tools required. At the bare minimum, you need a drill, some drill bits, and a hacksaw. That's the bare minimum to be able to be able to cut your tubing, a drill to be able to you know drill in your screws and drill bits just in case you need to pre-tap any holes like I did. As far as the cost of this particular T-slot aluminum extruded extrusion, so I got a quantity of three eight-foot long pieces and uh, it was about eighty dollars shipped all right so stay tuned for the next video that will actually be the assembly of this new gpu mining rig thanks for watching guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button don't forget we've got that gpu giveaway going we've still got it going i still haven't hit that thousand subscriber mark uh, get the video out to everybody and let them know that you know this Giveaway is still going on. All right. We'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.